afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is yet another day, a new day, a bright Sunday, a day that the Lord has made that we should all be glad and rejoice in it. Today is another episode of health issues. One may ask, what is it at all? Health issues is a program given to us by Richmond Media to help us promote health and to address any issues concerning health in our daily life. This will help us to live longer and to enjoy the fruit of our womb. Why don't we invite our friends and family to join us this afternoon as we present to everyone ready to listen how to reverse diabetes. At the end of the program, we will understand that it's not only by medication, but by there are other ways that we can help ourselves with in order to reverse our uh, chronic condition called diabetes. This afternoon, I have with me my own brother, Brother George Akon. Brother George, you're welcome once again to Richmond Media. Thank you. How are you today? By God's grace, I'm highly favored by divine selection. I believe um, same to my listeners and our viewers as well. Thank you so much to everyone watching us this afternoon. We say you're welcome on board to our brother, uh, Prince Sapon. Uh, we say you're welcome once again to Richmond Media and Brother Sapon says, Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. If anyone is watching us, please don't forget to pop a comment down there so that we'll be able to acknowledge or recognize you so that everyone will know that indeed you are part of the Richmond family this afternoon. Uh, we go straight to our program. Brother George, we've heard of diabetes, diabetes. Could you please give us an overview of diabetes at all? Another opportunity that he has given to us all. Um, I believe my slides can be shown. Yeah. So when we talk about diabetes, it's the same as high blood sugar. It means sugar in your blood is needful. But the point is that when the sugar within your blood becomes high, then we term it as high blood sugar or its common name, diabetes. But when you take diabetes, for example, it's also one of the conditions that falls under lifestyle diseases or non-communicable diseases. It means that diabetes is among the conditions that we ourselves contact it based on our lifestyle. Therefore, if I want to reverse high blood sugar, it correctly also means that when I reverse the lifestyle, that prone me or that uh, initiated me to the high blood sugar, when I reverse that lifestyle, my blood sugar too will be reversed. So in a nutshell, diabetes, as we will dive into the overview, is one condition that falls under non-communicable disease, which means a lifestyle condition. And as part of lifestyle condition, it means our habit or our lifestyle daily activities brought this condition onto us. And by God's grace, all lifestyle diseases at times also being termed as the non-communicable disease. We mostly also give it a name, chronic condition, because most of us who have lifestyle conditions are not ready or ignorantly don't know the things that helps us to get that condition. So we are most are on drugs, but are still having high, high blood sugar. So today we want to just take our time to gradually go into this lifestyle condition. And God being so good, all lifestyle conditions too can be reversed. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, brother, for giving us the overview of uh, diabetes. Uh, what are the signs and symptoms of When you take diabetes, for example, we, we have some things that will tell you that you have diabetes. And I hope um, we, will, we will get to it deeper. So the question was the science that will tell me that I have diabetes, right? Hello? Yes, brother. Okay. So since we want to go into the science right away, you realize that individuals who are suffering from diabetes or individuals who might be having diabetes, some they don't know because they've not been diagnosed or they, they've not checked. These are some of the symptoms that will help you to know that your blood sugar is either going up or you need to do another investigation to confirm. Number one, cardinal sign is excessive passage of urine we call it polyuria excessive passage of urine you realize that if you are an individual who knows yourself well you are not drinking water or you are not doing it but you are having frequency of urination it's one of the key signs that tells you that you are about to develop a condition like diabetes it's one of the signs one of the cardinal signs number two it's excessive test. Excessive test. That's what we call polydipsia. So you realize that the individual will drink water. But few minutes or few um, hours, he's also tasty. After drinking few minutes, he's tasty. So excessive test is also second cardinal sign. Then another one is what we call excessive hunger or polyphagia. Those individuals eat a lot. You realize you finish eating banku, then all of a sudden, few minutes you are hungry again. Then you go and take your jollof. Few minutes you are hungry again. If you are not careful, by the time you read the 12 hours or 6 hours, you've consumed a lot of meals, of which you yourself knows that initially you were not like that. So these three excessive urination, excessive test, excessive hunger, when these three or one of these is frequently occurring in your lifestyle that you know it wasn't like that. You need to prove further to know that maybe it's other condition that is causing that or diabetes. But for diabetes, these are the cardinal ones that also falls. Another aspect is that you feel weakness, body weakness, because an excessive fatigue, little things, you are feeling tired. The reason is that you have eaten, but as you have eaten, the blood sugar, or the sugar after your blood, the, the, the food, the end result, after digestion, it will turn into glucose, which is sugar, then into your blood, the body needs to use it. But in this case, or issue of diabetes, the sugar is within your blood, but it's not in your cells. So your cells are hungry while your belly is full. So in that case, you feel weakness, then fatigue, excessive tiredness. Then another condition or another sign is some tingling sensation in the extremities. Like the, the extremities means your, your hands. So your, your fingers, your feet, you feel some numbness. That also tells you that the blood is not flowing well because when we talk about the types of diabetes, you realize that there will be one that because the sugar has been higher, it's making a uh, free circulation impaired. Therefore, the area, the extremities that is not getting enough blood will become numb and you will feel that numbness or uh, tingling sensation. Another aspect is blood vision. You know, Richmond Media, we've talked about eye condition some time ago and you realize that the eye also needs blood. And if you have diabetes, the blood is becoming thicker, it's not able to penetrate into the tiny blood vessels of your eye. Therefore, its first sign will be blurred vision or double vision. Either you are not seeing clear or you are seeing things too, too. So as we are talking, you'll be seeing me in two 
and you see anti be mine too so we are you are watching two people but indirectly you will be viewing four people on your screen so when it happens like that it's also giving you a sign that something is going wrong another aspect is itchy skin itchy skin some individuals they, they are using correct water correct towel correct soap correct pomade but all of a sudden they have begun developing some itchiness so they'll be scratching their skin like something. Most at times, when individual is developing diabetes, one of the signs also is um, itchy skin or skin itchiness. Another aspect is itching around the genital area, especially our dear women. Itching around the genital area because of the accumulation of glucose, which is sugar, it's prone or predispose you to getting infections. So we have some individuals that have been complaining, prolong some women of infection, candida, infection. They've been treating. It's not going. They've been treating. Whenever they go, we just check the urine and that's all. We check the urine. But we have some individuals which, after proving further to check their sugar, the main cause, one of the main cause was sugar. So if you are someone who have been suffering from infection or you have been treating infection and it's delaying or it's, it goes and come like that beloved do well to prove further and let's know there's that cause another sign is that for those with diabetes when they have a cut or a wound healing delays so if the two of us myself and auntie bema we are in a place and i am having diabetes the two of us can get a prick may either even even when i'm just using a blade to cut my nails and it cuts just a little place or a small place the wound healing impairs then it will begin to be worsened so those individuals with diabetes that's why the education goes like they should be careful not to get cut because when they have a wound or a cut most at times it delays wound healing so if you've not checked your sugar or you've not been diagnosed of diabetes, but you have some wound, or you had some wound, but it's still there. Healing is delaying. You need to prove further because diabetes can also lead to that. Then we have what we call burning sensation under the feet. Some individuals will feel some heat under their feet. So they will say it's like someone, some burns or fire, my, my feet. I'm feeling some hotness like fire under my feet. That's, that one also tells you that you are developed it's a sign of diabetes and another aspect in that as uh, arena also is that because of that numbness some individuals might step on a sharp object they will have a cut but they will not know they will step in fire but because that place is being numbed it's like going for a uh, operation and they've they've just Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the network in corner is giving us a little problem. Our brother will join us as soon as possible. Uh, whilst we are waiting for our brother, we just want you to know that there is a concert coming up right at Prempe Assembly Hall. So whoever is in Ghana around that time, we encourage you to uh, make your way to Pempe Assembly Hall on the 23rd of March, 2024. A concert presented by Richmo Media at Pempe Assembly Hall, Kumasi. Invited groups are Adam Kwa, The Kwa Ghana, Divine Coral, KSTU Nasqua, and KNUST Nasqua and others. Please don't forget, book the dates, make it a point to attend this. And I'm very sure that you will enjoy it. Only other for me to encourage the demand, make come for program, Kasia, Ebasu, Onyankupon, Eye Aduma, Easter musical concert sana yedi edino atono a eye rich mo media ena edi ebre wu bibiara wu tiemi ene ebye eni ebusya 
wonsa ana wa no betimi atonkra e de ama wonno na me yard ma 23rd of march 2024 e yebosomia etoso miensa no ne da etoso aduono miensa sa dai e na ye de sa musical concert e ba opno ano a enye ba bia se kumasi abontene so prempe assembly hall ni aye chia woni sabra na woni bachi ama no abroso eh adumto fuo ana kwa fuo eba abetsunyum edi akenya ye hum hum eni ye sun sun sada no ebini adum kwa the kwa gana a divine coral kstu nas kwa and any knust nas kwa ebinum ka hu aye mfa wo modin e ma ye ntinia ntina fie ne ni arebo ne sum wa no Bra, na wani baji ne rade wun hum so ebe sane sada no edi e gubu so. Medamo ase. Brother George, you welcome once again back to the studio. The floor is Thank you. Me. Thank you. Okay, so as we are continuing, another also sign that an, some individuals might not pay much attention is what we call acanthosis Negricans, meaning that darkness on both sides of cheek. Another area is areas that darkens on creases of your body. So let me show you some pictures. We have some individuals who are having some darkened area. They they were not like that, but all of a sudden they began to develop some con uh, sign or discoloration under the arm, as you are seeing. It's one sign that also might be present in those with diabetes the and you see the underarm like mark it's not stretch marks some individual is not stretch marks you need to pay attention to your body well so that any sign that you see to be deviating you just proof further another aspect when you see their uh, the back of their palm it's not this one is not bleaching or he, he has not used any medication but because of the condition, it's just bringing some discoloration and at the back of the palm. You need to also notice that. Then another aspect is at the back of the neck. You see, when you are seeing viewing, you might think it's either burns or death. No, it's someone's skin color. That's what we call the acanthosis nigricans. It's discoloration that might appear on some part of your body. Those are some of the signs and symptoms of diabetes and when these are showing we are not concluding that you have diabetes but we are saying that these are some of the symptoms that might be present with those who have diabetes or individuals who are developing diabetes but they are not aware then you need to prove further for us to confirm the right diagnosis and start treatment thank you Thank you so much, Brother George, for giving us the signs and symptoms of diabetes. Now we will know when something is coming up. Uh, if that's the case, now that we know the signs and symptoms, what are the causes of diabetes, please? Okay. You know, every condition or everything that happens in life, you cannot do anything without a cause. Therefore, for a condition to occur, we have first ascertained that diabetes falls under lifestyle-related conditions. Therefore, what are some of the causes? You know we have type 1 diabetes. And we with, with the type 1 of the diabetes, we are saying that it's linked with a type where the pancreas is not able to produce insulin. And insulin's role is be like the carrier or the usher within your system that will take the glucose and send it into the cells. Therefore, with those with type 1 diabetes, we are saying it's linked to the pancreas not able to produce the insulin to do its work. And when it happens like that, sugar will go up. And we are saying that type 1 is being linked with the youth or the young ones. But with this, we have the beta cells. Beta cells are produced by the pancreas. 
and they are like the insulin factory so insulin holds stay in the body is the beta cells in the pancreas and if the immune system destroys them diabetes can result we have a condition called autoimmune diseases that is where your immune system turn itself to fight among themselves because of some foreigner that slightly looks like them and one of it is linked with the type one now individuals who take cow's milk a cow's milk or gives cow's milk to their child or during pregnancy they give cow's milk to their pregnant woman we have a protein in the cow's milk that resembles the protein that is found on the surface of the pancreas called the beta cells therefore individuals will begin to react to this protein then begins to make antibodies within your system then they begins to attack themselves so individuals who are intake of milk or cow's milk because of the protein within it confusing the immune system will lead to autoimmune condition and you are likely to get a type of condition called diabetes and that will fall under the type one because of the autoimmune reaction so it's one cardinal sign or cause so mothers we want to encourage that breast milk is for the babies breast milk is for the babies cow's milk give to the baby calf not human beings because we are talking about diabetes and we are talking about lifestyle condition so individuals some individuals are suffering from diabetes because of the longest intake of cow's milk leading to the autoimmune condition causing high blood sugar because the pancreas is not able to release insulin to take glucose into the cells that's one cause and with the type 2 of diabetes research have proven that fat in diet and fat on the body is the one of the main cause of diabetes type 2 fat in the diet and fat on your body so it's either you are eating a fatty related food or your system you because of some lifestyle activities you are rather building excess fat you are likely to get diabetes and that will fall under type 2 no wonder in the bible in leviticus chapter 3 verse 17 the bible says that it shall be a perpetual statute throughout all your generation that do not eat fat nor blood god knew it very importantly so now either fat in your blood in your food like what we are seeing meat related or fried fried foods too much frying of foods can also lead to fatty in your diet and another aspect is most refined processed foods can also predispose an individual to build fat within the system and it will predispose you to become obesity and one of the obesity related condition is diabetes or high blood sugar that's the common name so we need to also note that so this a research that was done by dr james anderson professor of medicine then he says that diabetes type 2 is caused by a 65 percent high fat diet or fat in the diet and fat in our body as we have spoken about it so you take individuals after their research they realize that about 65 percent of those who had the diabetes was those with what we have mentioned another aspect that can cause diabetes is recent stress or trauma stress or trauma you know that the pancreas is supposed to release yeah, insulin yeah. Margin. I think so. so. Yeah, I the, the pancreas for the for that affect the proper functioning of the glucose receptors in your brain 
can also predispose a type stress stress or the next one is overweight or obese like overweight and you realize that you you appreciate that most individuals gaining excess fat that has been termed as obesity or overweight it's one of the cause or risk for illness and can lead to high blood sugar physical inactivity or physically in individuals who are inactive sedentary or remote control has become the mama or the father in the house sending people to go on errands whilst you are only idle it will make you inactive and will predispose you to diabetes and in that case it will fall under diabetes type 2 we have also children or parents with diabetes you see if you have it doesn't mean that when i give birth or diabetes can be given through blood transfusion or through blood no but when i give i give birth and i'm having diabetes in the house it's the same thing my child is going to also follow so it means that gradually we can conclude that my child is also likely to get or at risk of getting diabetes because me the parent i'm also a diabetic and I'm also following the errors that I use to get the diabetes. Another one thing is also family history or family background. So we need to also know that these are some of the things that also cause insulin resistance. And when there is insulin resistance, glucose level will go higher. Another aspect is what we call the exposure to thousands of the blood. Exposure to thousands of the blood. Anything that you, you ingest, that becomes toxic to your blood. There will be inflammatory response, and that can lead to autoimmune reaction, in, interfering with the work of the liver, the work of the pancreas, and that can affect insulin release. And insulin will resist, and when it's resisting, then you are likely to get high blood sugar. Then what we call the condition that emanates to the pancreas. If you have inflammation of the pancreas. If you have a problem relating to the pancreas, you are likely to also suffer from what we call diabetes. And another cause is also about the liver. If you have a problem relating to your liver, like a liver-related issues, you are also likely to suffer from diabetes or to get diabetes because the liver is supposed to store the excess glucose as fat and release when you are hungry. So that the body can utilize it but when i'm suffering from a liver related condition either it's inflamed so hepatitis or any of the liver related conditions it will not perform its work as it's supposed to do so the time that it needs not to release the glucose it will release then add up to the already existing glucose in my blood then i'm likely to get what we call diabetes so these are some of the causes of diabetes that i want us to talk about thank you so much brother george for giving us the causes of diabetes now that we know the causes that will help us to shape our life so um, if the causes are known to us could we please know the complications of diabetes thank you okay individuals who are suffering from diabetes and did not pay close attention to they can get what we call retinopathy that's an eye related diseases and at the end is what you get the blindness you note that we have talked about the symptoms initially it gives you a symptom like double vision or blurred vision but we did not pay attention and we were still doing the error so in its complicated form, you will not see us in double again, but you will not see again. So we have blindness as a result of um, diabetes. That explains why if you have been visiting the eye clinics, you see whenever you visit the eye clinic, two cardinal vitals they will check, BP, which is blood pressure, then diabetes. 
or your blood sugar is also one of the cardinal signs so the next one is nerve damage nerve damage nerve is something that helps you to feel sensation so if someone pinch you and you feel pains is the work of the nerves the connection that helps you to feel um, a sensation therefore initially it gives you a sign like numbness numbness so you were not you once a while you feel some numbness but you did not pay attention so the nerves that is connected to give you that response or damage that explains why diabetic people they can step in fire or they can step in a nail but they will not see until they are going and someone will tell you you are bleeding then they will check their feet and know that hey i have a, a, a problem there so it's one of the complications another aspect too is what we call the nephrosclerosis it's a condition emanating from the kidney so the kidney can also be affected so individuals with diabetes and are not paying close attention to it and you are still doing your errors still not complying to any treatment options we are giving you one of the complication is kidney related condition so you can get kidney failure and no wonder now you see kidney related condition too is a lifestyle condition so as we are failing to adapt or adjust a lifestyle condition now diabetes is on the rise Sorry, Brother George, you'll join us. It's the network that is trying to cause some problems. Whilst we're waiting for Brother George, could we then uh, let you know that there is an Easter musical concert coming right at Prempe Assembly Hall, Ewa Kumasi. So whoever is around Kumasi or in the nearby city, you can even um, travel from UK, to go and watch this concert, which will be inspiring. This concert is brought to you by Richmore Media, uh, presented by number of groups. We have Adam Kwa, The Kwa, Ghana, Divine Kuro, KSTU, Nasqua, and KNUST, Nasqua. There are other uh, groups that will also be featuring at this program. This is coming on right within the Easter period on the 23rd of March, 2024. Only other four may come for program because CBI Airbus Ewukumase Pempe Assembly Hall at the amount. So programming and yet a Kobian at the Airbra was a rich more media from the UK and at the Airbra. Wapuno and no a Yukumasi Abontine. So Prempe Assembly Hall. You're tuning in Easter musical concert. A Bebasu or Bosumem Yen Sane Eda. It also a new Yen San Emu. A Yashasia and you mirror 4 p.m. No neighbor came near the Ashishes. So wana woba ajun tukuo a woba saju medie yi ebine adom kwa the kuro the kwa gana divine kuro kncu nas kwa and then knusc uh nas kwa and i will add you to kobe bray i will not so everybody i bobo sir uh adjun to koya edika womiti dina echidom ama program no anaju medie no ayakra Bra Babeshe. On the other four, won't pay way na a dear and I will pay. Mini Akikaho, a sansa, and no two away, a man, a dear, a shame crying, a betrayal, a reward, na, a mawo, a timmy, a ya, a jane, a relaxed two, a geno, a mawo to me, a dear, a dear, who cried, but my work is soon born, a war, who we are see a bravo, and answer was its name, and tea, me do us some more baby, you know, but I judge me for a child to ask you, and I see the. Okay, uh, men so masum. Okay, so <laughs> we, we we want to continue. I think the the flyer is still displaying on our screen for us. Okay, so we are still talking about the complications. So since you are about to get a kidney related condition another aspect too that we will also have is a problem relating to the blood vessels 
individuals who have diabetes and are still not following the guidelines are able to get what we call the narrowing of the blood vessels or the hardening of the blood vessels so they will now begin to have a problem emanating or relating to the blood vessels and when you have the hardening or the narrowing of your blood vessels blood will not be able to flow well and another aspect too is that it might be either the age or cholesterol so if it's narrowing when we say the atherosclerosis it means the narrowing of your blood vessels as a result of some fatty deposit which is cholesterol that is atherosclerosis so narrowing or hardening of the blood vessels is also being able to uh, emanate and as a result you, you are likely to also get heart attack heart attack and at the end you are also likely to get stroke so when you take stroke cases that we are handling around most are people suffering from diabetes or hypertension diabetes hypertension diabetes diabetes they are ruling it's like they are trending but we, we don't want them to trend so stroke is also another aspect sexual impotence because it's about blood vessels if you are having diabetes one problem is about your blood another problem is talking about your blood vessels and when for you to be able to perform well our uh, meals you need to get quality blood patent blood vessels for erection to take place before you can be able to perform therefore this is the reason this, this in this case those things have been affected so you will not be able to perform so sexually dysfunction and that's one problem we are also facing hearing impairment then also when they get a wound their wound delays healing but because they are continuously not paying attention to it it aggravates then there, there will be some greenish substance around their wound then still they are not changing their lifestyle then the wound becomes very infected going to surrounding places then at the end what we call amputation so either we cut that part so we have some individuals around that some the wound occurred in their thumb but they did not pay close attention and they were diabetics and as it's emanating their prescribers or their physicians realize that if we leave this thing it will spread to the next one so they will cut the thumb or some they will cut either the, the fingers or they will cut the, the legs so we have some people they either amputate that's the name amputation means cutting of affected a, a place some people it's not by accident some individuals when you look at their fingers it's not five again some three some two not accident but because of diabetes and they develop a wound and it was not well handled because they are still going with their lifestyle the wound was infected then as, as, at the end it needs to be cut off that's another aspect complication another one is that women are also prone to breast and uterine cancers you see we talked about itching or infection infection so they were treating infections they were not paying attention still bad lifestyle they were not paying attention then the infection will spread up and it will begin to be affecting your reproductive system and you are likely to suffer from a complication of this condition so these are some of the things that we don't want rich more media viewers and listeners to reach that stage that's why we are creating awareness that we need to reverse the diabetes so that you will not get these complications thank you thank you so much uh <clears throat> brother kwansa you welcome once again to rich more media thank now, you um, we are at the we've talked about the overview of diabetes signs okay. and symptoms and the causes of diabetes okay. now we are at the is it the complications of diabetes so mm -hmm. i don't know if you have anything to add to where we are at the moment. Okay, I'm sorry for the delay. That's I all right. I'm back on a journey and by great, I'm safe now. I want you also uh, come in. Thank you very much, George. That's a very remarkable presentation. So I, as I can see, I know you have talked about the sexual impotence, hearing impairment, leg cramp, gangrene, and then uh, cancers, right? So yes, all these are, some of the complications that we've listed around. We also talk about high risk for infections because high glucose levels also creates a very great room for 
uh, inflammations. So the person has a very weakened immune system and other diseases can come into play. So all these things are related to microvascular uh, 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 complications. And when we are talking about the microvascular complications, we can also be talking about the fact that blood glucose levels are increased. It makes blood more viscous. It causes damages to the blood vessels and it impedes blood circulation. I'm sure George, you have dealt with them already. And that affects all those aspects that you talked about. And so there can also be other problems that are related to the uh, brain or the nervous system. That is uh, uh, diabetic neuropathies. Diabetic neuropathies are also there as complications. When a person's diabetes is not well controlled, it can damage it or it can affect the brain. I have personally seen a client, a relative of mine, who experienced diabetic neuropathy. And it is something you it is something you never even wish for your enemies. In fact, diabetes complications with neuropathies are very, very terrible. And that is a very crucial thing we, we, we can experience if your diabetes is not well re uh, reversed. We can also talk about diabetic uh, retinopathies. I don't know whether you've talked about them. Yes. With the diabetic retinopathies, we've talked about them. So these vessels are damaged. It can affect vision. We talked about uh, uh, diabetic nephropathies. That is where we talk about kidney failures, um, other cardiovascular diseases. And then you can have uh, this uh, blood um, high cholesterol level because you are building a lot of sugar. And then because of that, most of the time with the type 2 diabetes, you are going to have a lot of glucose in your blood and it can also pose a higher level of cholesterol in your blood. And so hypercholesterolemia can also lead to other complications with the cardiovascular system, heart failures and all those myocardial infections are all those related to this problem. So these are some of the complications. I didn't come to meet those you have mentioned, but these are the few ones I can mention along. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, gentlemen. And we officially welcome you to wherever you are, Brother Kwanza. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Only myself understand. I I yes, so you are welcome. Thank you. Um, that will make the program, you know, very, very interesting. Okay, I'm currently uh, at the Isle of Man. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. Isle of Man. You're yeah. welcome, my dear. Mm -hmm. uh, what you. role of uh, conventional treatment? that we can help. George, I want to talk about this first a little. You know, I did so many researches, I did so many studies, and I, to be honest with you, I think diabetes, you know, just recently, I watched a documentary by the Deutsche Welle TV, and Deutsche Welle TV, someone, a doctor made a, a clear declaration. He's not afraid. He opened up his face and he said, diabetes is business. And straight up, I would say that conventional drugs for diabetes is just business. People are just eating or having fun or playing with people's health with drugs. And they just want to earn their monies. And they are trying to sound like they are managing their condition for them. But actually, it's just business. The food industries and all those people, they, they have a cartel. I have to say this. I'm not afraid. And they are doing this to cause the problem so that you will depend on these drugs for the rest of your life. And that is a problem we need to talk about. So the conventional drugs are just given not to treat the condition. It's not to cure you. It's just there to help you manage because you have been programmed to believe and accept the fact that diabetes is going to be a lifelong thing and you're going to be the make on the medications for the rest of your life. And so you are going to be dependent on that and commercially it is going to drain you. So one, the drugs that are given for diabetes, one, it is supposed to help you, depending on the type of diabetes you, you have, either type 1 or type 2. Type 1, where you don't have insulin at all, I'm sure we have talked about that already. Type 1, you are just going to be on insulin. It means your body cannot produce your insulin, and then they don't have, you don't have the natural one, so they have now been able to manufacture insulin. That they are going to sell to you, and that you are going to provide to your body synthetically designed one that will make your body have a form of insulin to be able to be clearing all the excess glucose that we've talked about that is the first one for type one and they have various different types of uh, 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 uh insulin is that one that the rapid one the fast act or the quick acting the short acting or whatever that is those ones are there and then we also talk about these uh 
hypoglycemic agents, the drugs, most of the time they use it for the type 2 diabetes. And they, all their role is that they just want you to be able to manage the glucose that is at surgeon. And that is all. So these drugs, to me, it helps you, but you're going to be on it a lifetime. But they are not tackling the main issue. And that is the problem with mainstream uh, uh, medical management. And they don't want to let you have so much knowledge on them. And that is a big problem. Yeah. Thank you so much, brother. Brother George, have you got additional? Yeah, so as uh, Brother Kwanza said, that's what you need, you know, before you 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 will be put on a particular medicine, you need to know or ascertain the right course. Because when you take the conventional drugs, for example, we have a particular drug that we are giving to you. Its work is to stimulate the pancreas to release more insulin. Uh -huh. So let me give you this drug. Then the work is to stimulate. You stimulate, be stimulating the pancreas to be releasing more insulin. And what's the role of the insulin? When insulin is being released, it's going to take glucose from the blood into the cells. Now, the person has been built up of fat of which even the insulin can take the glucose but cannot get into the cells. <laughs> So if I'm just taking the stimulating the pancreas, produce insulin, then go and take glucose. Where I, where is it going to pass? It's one way, and that one way, Tima track or Tipa track has blocked that way. And you are saying Okada man should pass by. It will not work that way. But that's a role of one of the drugs. Another drug that commonly they also use is the what we call the metformin. It's it falls mm -hmm. under a group of drugs, and its work is that. It reduces how much glucose is stored. And you know that God has designed the liver to be able to store the excess glucose the body will use as fat. But in this case, we are given another category of drugs to reduce how much glucose to be stored and produce in the liver. And by so doing, it will improve how insulin works in the body and by slowing the conversion of high, uh, carbohydrate in your mm -hmm. system. So if an individual is taking a class of drug that will stimulate the, the, the insulin, the, 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 the insulin, the pancreas release insulin, and at the same time, he's taking another same drug at that same time, that will also uh, reduce how much glucose is stored in the body. Yeah, you see how it's been going but we need to have a fair overview of it another aspect as he said is about the insulin you see insulin is being made from some part of a, 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 a pig and co so if you are not able to reverse those conditions in my system and i'm someone who is not able to take a pig or a pig related product and i'm ingesting you might say per your doctrine you are not taking pig but per drugs because for you to be given a drug it's part of the right to ask you, are you allergic to this particular food or are you able to co uh, consume these things? Which things are you reacting to? But mostly because you are diabetic and because you have been at the scene, we are giving you a particular drug called insulin because we are taken to be type 1. And you are a type who is also proclaiming that you don't take pig. But it's part of the production of those things. So these are some of the roles of yeah. the conventional drug that we are taking and its work is like the natural one the liver is supposed to store glucose and release when you need it therefore it's best for rich more media viewers and listeners to be able to maintain the health of the liver to be able to store the glucose for us and to be able to release it when we need it but not to wait until we get into this format for we to get lawyers so these are some of the conventional rules that we can talk about. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now that we know the conventional rules uh, that are played within the treatment of diabetes, please, could you help us? How we can reverse diabetes? Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, you know, I would recommend one book by Dr. Joel Furman. He, he is well known for management of diabetes and he would recommend, first of all, lifestyle, especially with type 2 diabetes, lifestyle. Lifestyle will talk about physical activity, 
uh, caloric counting and the type of diet you are going to take. And then you also want to talk about if you are smoking and all those stuff, all those things are factors that put you increasing your condition. So one, talking about diet management, ideally the first, the first, the, the principal goal that will help you overcome diabetes is diet management. So all those things that were risk factors in terms of diet, you have to start working on them. If you are somebody who have been on these shoulders and then the early ready, ready, the high glycemic index sugar foods, like drinks and all those stuff, you start limiting yourself from them. If you want the best result, abstinence is always the best. These natural sugars, all these beverages and all those ones are very crucial. You have to start taking in more fruits, more vegetables, all these uh, high fiber diets, the nuts and grains and seeds, you are going the eating philosophy of eating that God provided. That will be the best approach. But you have to cut down calories. So by cutting down calories, you go to the high, uh, 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 the food that have a lot of uh, fiber in them. So if now people are eating a lot of polished um, um, foodstuffs, you know, the, the bread, polished everything the fire the, 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 the flour the fine we have to stay away from or limit the intake of all those uh, uh, substances and then um you go for the whole grains like the whole wheat um, and we have the rice which is which has more fiber on them and then you also do um the vegetables you have the carrots the cucumber the the the, the peas and all the other types you have to increase those foods rather than the artificially manufactured sugary diets and all those stuff. Fatty foods, you have to limit and then probably stay away from them. That will, that will also have a lot of uh, problems that you can get from, from, from management of diabetes. Then we'll talk about exercising. Physical activities have been identified as one of the good ways. Uh, studies have shown that it makes the body cells more responsive to insulin. So we have ranges of types or types of physical activities that you can get yourself involved. By so doing, you also have to do them and monitor your blood glucose level at the same time if you are diabetic. Because sometimes when you are diabetic and you are doing your physical activities, your blood glucose level can drop. And when it happens like that, you can fall on a hypoglycemic shock or whatever, hypoglycemia. And then it's going to be deadly. So you have to know your blood glucose level and you organize your routine physical activity program. And then you do it alongside your dietary management. Basically, this is the best approach to help you reverse diabetes. Apart from the medication we've talked about, this is the best approach that we will always want to recommend as rich more media members. We don't want you to stick to the drugs all the time because if you stick to the drugs, you will never be able to reverse. Those who are giving you the drugs will tell you, forget about the food restrictions and take your drugs, you'll be fine. But no, we want you to get off those drugs. So we will target your diet, you will target your exercise, lifestyle and your mindset. That will be the best approach. I'm sure George will be going on to the details for us more. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, the father of medicine, that's called the hypocrite. He says that <laughs> let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Exactly. So wherever diet is wrong, medicine is of no use. Exactly. And if diet is correct, medicine is of no need. If diet is wrong, medicine is of no use because you take your medicine, but the things to help you, you are not doing, so it's of no use. But if it's correct, then medicine is of no need. Therefore, mm -hmm. as he has tackled some aspect, another aspect too is that you need to think of your body weight. Mm -hmm. Your weight. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's, it's, it's our duty to know our weight. That's number one. Number two, to know how to determine your weight. To note your hip and waist circumference. So waist, you measure your waist, you measure your hip, then you divide the two. Per the figure will tell your prescriber that you are gaining weight because you want to you want a healthy weight. So we need to also be mindful of that. Then you check your BMI. BMI will help you to know either you are gaining because that's we want to reverse. So in reverse, we need to also um, talk about those things. Another aspect that we also want to also highlight is about he mentioned about exercise. Exercise is very key, very, very key. But 
when you are about to exercise too, you need to, as he said, note your blood sugar. Because effective exercise, we have what we call the brisk walking. With brisk walking, you are able to, for an hour, continuously for an hour, it's like taking 20 international units of insulin. Then also, we have a type of exercise that we call the high intensive interval exercise. With a high intensive interval exercise, it's like me or the young ones or anyone who is very active and can do. So you need to do excessive heat exercise for like 30 seconds to an, a, a minute. Then you stop and relax for two to three minutes. Then you repeat the cycle again for six cycles. Then let it be your continual thing and be taking your sugar. By God's grace, by God's grace, the insulin will, will, will be produced and the body will be able to work well for you. Then what we call the sun bath. Expose yourself to the sun because we are talking about healing. And healing, we need the strength of vitamin D in your system. Therefore, if you are exposed to the sunlight, you get one, vitamin D. Number two, you get what we call the ultraviolet rays from the light the sunlight which will help burns your calories or your fat excess fat and by so doing it will initiate a response by sweating and sweating is one of the work of the liver and if the liver is of good health one key thing is that it will be able to function well and that will reduce what uh, produce what we call the albumin and that albumin is what we call the magnet to take the glucose when the pancreas release in into your cells so whenever you are talking about diabetes think of your liver number mm -hmm. two think of your blood number three think of your pancreas and number four think about your blood vessels if these connections is of key then what my brother said we are true we can reverse and they will take you off the drugs and by god's grace as you are taking the juices you see the bitter things like the aloe vera you can be taking them as a juice you can be taking them that you take the gel mixed with warm water be taking it it helps you like the bitter things like the bitter bitter uh, bitter leaves like the bitter melon like the carrots the cabbage the you, you see the carrots the cucumbers the beets roots are mm -hmm. let's be eating them let's be eating them at times we can be juicing them at times we can be taking them as salad then by god's grace adequate water intake adequate water intake who also helps us to be able to reverse diabetes fantastically. So um, on this note, I will say that these are some of the tips. That's one. If you have not developed diabetes, we call it primary prevention. You need uh -huh. to stop wherever you are and reverse your lifestyle. Number two, if you have developed the diabetes, you need also to start. And when you start on a constant basis, whilst you are still monitoring your blood sugar, you can get a reverser. Now, as we are trying to manage it, at times too, it can drop too low. Watch out for these signs because it's a warning sign for us. You begin to be sweating. As you are sweating, feeling dizzy. If you are a diabetic and you begin sweating, feeling dizzy, it telling you that your sugar is dropping going extremely low then in that case we will advise you that you can take a sweet fruit around either a, 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 a mango you can eat the mango or a, a watermelon you can take it whenever the good is not there then you think of the bad but not worse that's where it's the advice that you take a table the, the the cubes the cubes of sugar then you add to water then you take at that time not your lifestyle at that time but if you have the best, go for the best. So these are some of the things we can do. As Richmo Media, our, 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 our viewers and our listeners, these are the things that we can do. And also, you see, when you relax your mind with good music, like the choral music that is going to occur on 23rd of March at Premier Assembly Hall, when you are having a sound mind, sitting, mm -hmm. listening to the choral music, it just stimulates your brain. And we have said that one of the glucose or insulin re re glucose receptors is in the brain. And if the brain is performing its work properly with stress-free arena, your sugar will also be reducing. So if you are Absolutely. sitting 
watching Richmond Media concert. Then the Divine Chorus is singing. You are listening. Then the Adam Choir is singing. You are listening. Divine uh, the 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 Choir Ghana is singing. You see the treble, the alto, the tenor, the bass. You are listening with a, a, a very holistic mind. Then you come to KSTU. It's Kumasi Technical University. Technical student combining their wood, their nails, and forming a singing group. See how they will be displaying for you to get a sound mind from the organ, the instrumentalist, from the choir conductors, how they will be conducting. Then Ken USD Nasqua. It will just stimulate you, relax you, and your blood sugar will be reducing. Therefore, we again invite you that 23rd, we will all be there so that we also want reversal of diabetes and we will listen to it through this musical concert and it will help us reduce our blood sugar so we humbly invite you to join us and by so doing we will continuously reversing diabetes thank you thank you so much gentlemen for your time your love yes. and your passion for this program and to everyone who made it a point to watch us this afternoon or listen to us we say God bless you and to everyone. Yet it's another day coming to an end, but I encourage you, don't forget to join us every Sunday, the same time at Richmond Media. The same time every Sunday. This afternoon, don't leave. Just turn yourself around and join us as we embark on another program called From the Beginning. We have a politician in the house, so please, join us and you will be blessed until the same time again i say have a good afternoon and may the good lord continue to shower his blessings over everyone who made it a point to join us this afternoon to brother george and brother um kwansa we say may the good lord continue to enhance your territory until then my name is hannah bima it is bye bye for now thank you Oh, yeah.